did you guys know that your dishwasher and your clothes washer are the two dirtiest places in your house and they should be washed once a month? Well, <laughs> neither did I. So, um, <laughs> I this is the first time I'm washing, like deep cleaning our dishwasher since we've had it in like five years. So I'm sorry if, it, if that's gross to you guys, but I just didn't know this was a, was a thing because it cleans dishes. So I just never thought about deep cleaning it. Um, so if you guys are interested to see how I do it, please keep watching. I read a few blog posts on Pinterest and I follow a cleaning company on Instagram called Go Clean Co. And they said baking soda, bleach, and vinegar to clean and like defungal. I just used bleach and I scrubbed, scrubbed, scrubbed. And then once I was done scrubbing everything, I just put a bowl of vinegar on the top rack and ran it at the highest heat. So taking out these little pieces and parts, I would actually YouTube videos for your exact model. Um, that's what I did and you have to be very careful with this part or like the screen because I know it can break easily on some dishwashers. So this is the important part because you there's like a, there's a lot of gunk in mine but I also have never done it before. But this is like the nitty gritty and kind of what filters everything. So, and like I didn't even think to flip this over at first and then I'll sh you'll see I flip it over and there's just so much junk on the back. Ugh, it was so gross, but I'm so glad I did this. It felt so good. And the next time I do it, I, I feel like I'm gonna be even more efficient. Like this time I was kind of like nervous about taking this stuff apart and like just how deep I could get in there. So. Next time, I'm definitely gonna remove the racks better, but you gotta start somewhere. It's very important to use just bleach or baking soda or vinegar because if you use like a Dawn dish soap, any other soap, when you run it, it's gonna overflow and get water all over your kitchen. So make sure you do your research and read a couple blog posts, maybe watch a couple YouTube videos and then do this. When I was editing this, I had to cut out so many parts of me going back and watching YouTube videos on how to put this stupid thing back together. <laughs> So if you're like me, just refer back to a helpful video. Um, and I'm not even gonna explain how to do this because I literally had to watch the same video like 10 times to figure out how to get it back together. I was so nervous I would break it and it wouldn't work and then I would regret doing this. So just have faith in yourself, give yourself grace and watch a YouTube video like 10 times. <laughs> Yay, finally putting the rack back in. I know this video is only like five minutes long, but this took me like an hour and a half between figuring out how to take it apart, how to put it together, and actually scrubbing everything. And I feel like I didn't even get it as clean as I wanted to. But now I know I have to do this once a month. So next time I'll just get in there better and get a lot of the gook that I missed. You'll see when I do the before and after, there's so much. It looks so much better. It's just crazy. So I ran the dishwasher on high heat with the bowl of vinegar in, and this is after it ran. Like you can see there's dirt in the vinegar even. 
and this is after. I'm so proud of how it turned out. I love a good before and after, and I was like, Bob, look how clean this is, and he didn't even know because he didn't even get to see the before. But then when I showed him the pictures and the videos, he's like, wow, is that bad? I'm like, that's what I said. I like never even noticed the dirt that was in there until you're forced to notice it. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And I am trying to be more active on Twitter now.